Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to continue our discussion on perceptrons. We are going to first look at perceptron training rule, which is one simple method to learn the weights of the perceptrons. And then we'll continue this discussion by looking at gradient descent, a version that is used for perceptrons. We already saw gradient descent in the context of logistic regression. We are going to see gradient descent in the context of perceptrons next. So the perceptron training rule is a very simple rule uh, which updates the weights as you can see in the first equation where wi is the initial value of the weight and delta wi is the weight update that is added to the initial value to get your updated weight. Now, the only thing here we need to understand is delta wy, how to calculate that, right? So delta wy is given as eta times t minus o times xi. So wi is the weight corresponding to feature xi. So the degree of wrongness in the prediction, how, diff, how off are you in your predictions is what we are calculating here and we are using that to update the weight. So t here gives the true value from ground truth true ground truth value that you have in your training data set and o is what you predicted using the current value of the weight and xi is the feature corresponding to wi and we are examining the difference between t and o t is the true value and o is the predicted output and we are examining the difference and we are using that to calculate delta wi now there's one more quantity here which we haven't defined which is eta now eta is the learning rate so remember we already looked at learning rate when we learned logistic regression so learning rate is a small number that gives us what how much of this error matters so if you think about this t minus o t minus o is the error right times xi xi is the feature in question so that's why we are adding that to our weight so the perceptron training rule converges if the data is linearly separable and we also know that the learning rate should not be really huge otherwise it will miss convergence we saw that also in gradient ascent in logistic regression where if we have a higher learning rate it will have big step sizes and big step sizes would mean that convergence may be missed convergence is not assured if data is not linearly separable in many cases it will not converge which is why we have another way a better way to learn the weights which we will look at next it's also called gradient descent so it's similar to what we learned for logistic regression but we'll look at it in the context of perceptrons and the gradient descent algorithm uses another rule for learning which is called the delta rule so when you are asked what is the perceptron training rule then this is what should come to your mind what we discussed here in this video 
and in the next video we'll look at gradient descent and what rule for updating that it uses which is called the delta rule